you guys here i've been making this little concoction in the mornings because when amanda was here this past weekend she told me she's been making this and it's been helping with like digestion and bloating so this is what it is it's ginger lemon honey and chia seeds and i know that's like super simple but it tastes so good and my stomach just feels like super settled after i drink it so i've done it every day this week and i hope i can continue to do it so i'm sorry that i didn't give an update on youtube from when i left north carolina to when i came back to texas i just went like straight into wedding dress shopping which i'm so sorry i didn't realize like i guess i just assume most of you guys like follow me on instagram and i've said like um i said over there that i was like back in texas so i came back about a week and a half ago i got here last monday and i've been settling in really well it just feels really good to be home i missed my family my parents and um like my office in my bedroom and just like my space that i normally create content in it's also been really hard because i miss my fiance a ton so just like the adjustment has been a little bit hard but i think i'm doing a good job of managing it i've just tried to keep myself super busy to like keep my mind off of it but that's the update i'm back in texas i've been using a few new products which i'll show you guys well this first one is not new i've used it before but i just haven't used it in a while it's the skinceuticals vitamin c this is like the best vitamin c on the market it's not like terribly expensive but it's just a little bit more on the pricey side but it's so worth it if you like want to invest in a good vitamin c this is definitely the one to get and then this is the eye cream i've been using oh i did show you guys this in my last video but it's the herbivore supernova under eye cream it has caffeine and vitamin c in it so i actually have a really busy next couple weeks and i didn't realize that until like yesterday and i was like oh my god i'm gonna be gone like traveling basically for like 12 days it's gonna be so hectic but i'm really excited this weekend i leave on friday and i'm gonna go visit amanda for the weekend i'll get there friday morning and then i'll leave sunday night and she's having a galentine's lunch so i'm gonna be there for that and on Friday, which is the day that I get there, we're going to drive up to Austin, which is only like an hour and a half drive from San Antonio, and go to another wedding dress shop appointment. So we're going to go to Pronovias, which is where Amanda got both of her dresses from. This is the SkinCeuticals SPF. SPF 50. So I get back from San Antonio on Sunday and then on Monday I'm going up to Dallas with my mom and then there's this one wedding dress shop that's having a trunk show of the brand that I really really love. It just so happened to be in Dallas like at that time so I just booked an appointment and we're gonna go and see what they have. And then I'm going on another trip Tuesday through Thursday which I can't share yet but I'm so excited for. And then that weekend I'll be in Dallas for something else really exciting. So I just have like a busy next like week and a half but today is just like a typical work day i have two things to edit this morning i have a campaign i need to film and then i have a meeting with my manager a little bit later i also need to go work out and do some laundry so i'm just going to take you guys along for the day i wanted to show you guys these pieces so the video that i'm about to edit it's me trying on these jumpsuits from nadine marabi i'm sure you guys have seen this brand on instagram they have the most beautiful jumpsuits and if you're getting married look how bridal this is like this is the perfect bridal jumpsuit this one is like a beaded top with feathers on the sleeves and actually these pants are not see-through they're like double lined which i was kind of worried about and then there's this lace glitter one. Oh my god it is so flattering especially with this belt it like goes around the waist and ties in the back the shoulders are like a little bit padded so it gives it some structure and the legs on this one are a little bit flared Okay, it's a few hours later. I've finished my work for this morning and I'm gonna take a break and go to the gym. But this is what I'm having for brunch. Avocado toast. This was like my old combo that I used to do. Feta cheese and balsamic glaze. Oh my God, it is so good. And then some eggs, but I'm gonna eat this and then head to the gym. Me and Naeem are on a little Starbucks run and this is the second one we're going to because the first one was like closed from a power outage. There was like a winter storm um texas like cannot handle any form of winter so everything like shuts down all right drink is secured i got a matcha with almond milk one pump of vanilla and cinnamon this is my favorite matcha order from starbucks name what'd you get 
It's a cappuccino with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Oh, I didn't know you were a cappuccino kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just got to the gym. I'm going to head inside and get a workout in, and I will see you guys afterwards. I'm back from the gym. I showered. I ate dinner, and now it's time for some nighttime skincare. Honestly, I like to keep my nighttime and my daytime, like morning skincare routine, really simple because I feel like if you just pile on so many products, that's when you can start to clog your pores. I have experienced that before and it just becomes like way too much. So I have found that if you just find like a few products that work really well for your skin and you just use like a few of those, it's way more effective than just putting on like so, so many serums, moisturizers, oil, like all these uh, layers that just like I feel like clog your pores or at least that's how it works for my skin this is the Caudalie Reservatrol Lift I've used this a couple times and it's a really good moisturizer I just was wanting to switch it up so when I am having like active breakouts or texture which I kind of am like on my forehead a little bit but it's clearing up so I'm just going to leave it alone um, I'll either use the Paula's Choice um, 2% BHA salicylic acid, or I'll use the um, Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. I'm pretty sure this is empty. I've gone through so many of these. If you guys struggle with like texture or acne in any way, try out that combo, the Paula's Choice and this, the Good Jeans. I wouldn't use them both on like the same night. It basically, it just helps like unclog pores and exfoliate the top layer of your skin. So that's what I would recommend. So actually our internet is down right now, which sucks because I have so much work and things I'm wanting to do on my computer which require internet. I forgot to mention this is one of the face washes I use. It's the LHA cleanser from SkinCeuticals. I'll use the Youth to the People one in the morning and this at night or vice versa. I wanted to show you guys my new prayer clothes. They're from Zephra the Label and I have been loving these. They're like this really nice silky material and it just feels so luxurious. So there's like a little tie and then you just flip it to the back and it keeps everything out of the way some little ruffles at the bottom to seriously like my favorite prayer set that i've ever owned she sent these to me right before i went to north carolina but i just didn't bring them with me but now i've been using them and they are the best this is my little prayer corner i thought i would share i've had this mat from it's actually not a prayer mat it's like a mini rug from h and i've had it for like two or three years i've shared it a ton but i'm pretty sure they still have it available and i keep my prayer clothes in this little basket which is also from h&m home i just love having this here because it's a really nice space to come and pray hi you guys so it's the next day i went and got my nails done this morning let me show you a little close-up so i always do one coat funny bunny and one coat of bubble bath and I do almond shape. These are not my real nails. <laughs> These are tips, but I go to the same girl every time and she's literally incredible. She gets like the perfect shape and I was just so glad to be back in my usual nail girl. I realized I need to start deciding on a wedding nail color. I'm either gonna do this or American White by OPI. So I'm gonna try out that and like a few other things and then just like see what I like, but I want like a milky pinky white. So right now I'm about to go to an eyelash appointment. I'm gonna get my eyelashes lifted and tinted. I haven't done this in like over a year, maybe it's even been two, but I really like the way it looks because it just like makes you look like you have mascara on all the time and it lasts for a really long time probably like two months whereas eyelash extensions they don't look as natural and then those only last like a month if you're lucky so this is like a better option honestly never been to this place before so i'm just gonna run inside um hopefully it goes well okay i just finished and i love the way they look i feel like it just looks like i have mascara on but it's super natural so I can't get them wet the rest of the day, which I didn't think through because I need to like do some self tanner um, and like wash off in the shower. So maybe I'll just have to like put something over my face, which we'll figure out. But the girl who did them I actually went to high school with. So it's super nice to like catch up with her. And um, the appointment just went by really fast because we were just chatting the whole time. But it took like less than an hour because it's like 1.10 right now and I got there at 12.30. I'm gonna run home and start packing probably because I'm leaving tomorrow to go to San Antonio. Okay, I am packing up to leave in the morning for San Antonio. My flight leaves 
at 6.30, which means I need to be up by like 5. So I have an early morning, but this is what I have. I'm not bringing too much stuff because I'm only there for two days. But for the Galentines, I'm going to wear my white dish dress. I've worn this a couple times on my Instagram. And then I'm bringing two pairs of Skims pajamas. And then tomorrow we're going wedding dress shopping in Austin. So I just have a white bodysuit and then my upperless pants. And then I also just always like to bring like an extra chilling outfit, just sweats, so putting that in there. The airport in the morning, I'm going to wear my white Amazon sweater. I love this thing. There's a coffee stain on it that I can't get out, but it's like nice and long. And then I'm going to wear it with my black Lululemon groove pants. I swear makeup and skincare takes up most of the room, but I packed all my skincare in here. I just have like moisturizer. I'm not bringing face wash because Amanda has that. She honestly has like so much stuff in her guest bathroom that I like never need anything because it's already there. But I just brought like a few of my extra things that I need. Um, but mostly she has everything. Oh my god, this is literally so heavy. This is at least... 15 pounds. That's embarrassing. I need to clean this out, but this is all of my makeup. Here are the shoes I'm wearing for the Galentines. I am obsessed with these. All of my hair tools are going in here. I'm just bringing a straightener, curling iron, some brushes, and dry shampoo. And I'm bringing some slippers so I can be nice and cozy. And then I still have my jewelry in this little DR box. Super unorganized, but I'm going to put this in my carry-on with me. I think that's it. I just need to get some chargers. I'm going to pack that up in the morning. I'll put that in my carry-on. So I think I can close this bag. Um, the shoes I'm going to wear are outside of there. The laptop I'm going to put in my carry-on. I'm just trying to think. Oh, and my Stanley I'm definitely bringing, but I'll put that in my carry-on. I think I can close this up now. I also need to pack my carry-on. This little tote is from H&M. It's the perfect size to travel with. So I like to put all my chargers and stuff in here. First we have a little portable charger. This one's from Amazon. I love it because you can just plug it directly into your phone. I think I do need to charge this though. And I have my AirPods. I love the noise canceling ones for on the plane because you put them in and I swear you can't hear anything and you do not feel like you're on an airplane. It's a game changer. And we have an extra long phone cord. This is a necessity. This is the light that I use to record with along with the charger. And then I'm just going to put my jewelry in here as well. In this little bag, I just like to throw some like little toiletries in here. My Summer Fridays Vanilla Lip Balm. This is the perfume I'm bringing. It's from Scentbird. And the scent is Creed Aventus for her. It's so yummy. Some sunglasses. Advil, because you just never know. A little clip. I think that'll be it for here. Also, I'm bringing my laptop. Of course. And then I'll throw my Stanley cup in here in the morning and also my vlog camera. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like this was a really fun, chill vlog. I'm planning to vlog this whole week like in San Antonio and then the exciting trip that I'm going on. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.